Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion. So it looks like it's time for having a custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. So it looks like that, that I'm about to get ready to start out with the first generation Honda NSX. So this model type is a Type R vehicle. So this is definitely designed in 1992. So well, eventually that the first NSX was definitely made by Acura in 1991. So I kind of think that sim manufacturing similarities between two brands can also have to share this model board. But well, here we are arriving in in this update board because time to take this MR drivetrain board spin board because this is definitely quite very good to choose this first generation model. But well. I kind of think that we all love NSX cars, so this is going to be quite very perfectly for the hidden headlight design for it. So this is definitely that I'm choosing the Formula Red, just like the Acura NSX model for it. But you know, maybe let's just go and get ready to start having three rounds for it, because this is going to be quite very impressive for it. So it was definitely seen on one of the four cars has definitely revealed so this is definitely raced here at the Fuji Speedway during the Gran Turismo World Tour so maybe I would like to go and start out to race on Tokyo Expressway Central Outer Loop so this is going to be quite good for the first round <clears throat> now this is going to be quite very good for this good looking style interior board so well, probably since the Acura NSX has that good looking interior style board, but the Type R version has definitely now has to become fully premiumized for the very first time. So it was one of the most popular vehicles in Gran Turismo series. So this is, might be very good for the 1992 model NSX to be able to be quite very perfectly to be a maze for it. So I might be able to start out with four laps, so this is might be able to do it well for it. So the so the car model category type is N three hundred because this is might be very good. So this will be able to do it very improvedly for it because this is gonna have to take a little bit much faster to be adjusted for. So this is might be very good to have the race with the headlights on for it. Because I might have to say, because it may be able to be popped up without the lights on for it, because this is going to be quite very impressive to race against some other MR car sports. And take a look, the RX500 is going to be joining in for the race. That would be quite very impressive for it. And ooh, looks like another NSX is going to be quite good to be joining in for. So, maybe let's just kind of have to change the action and take a good look at the performance for it. So definitely the horsepower is 284, so this is might be very good standard performance. Okay, the max torque and the weight is definitely quite giving the standard by default. And also the transmission gear is 5 speed. Once this is going to be fully customizable, that might be able to use it in to be quite giving much better adjustment to be as possible for it. Well, even so, that it also, whenever you're going to change any kinds of tires so it can make it much better to be improved with this NSX. Well, somehow that we also drive the third generation model and now we are so excited that we're about to race for the first generation NSX. So it looks like let's begin, shall we folks? Now this engine sound is much better, definitely quite very better to see it. So looks like let's go for it and take it in for a Tokyo ride. So it looks like this interior view was definitely quite turns out to be very different unlike the Acura NSX. Well, I kind of think that the, the Acura NSX is going to be quite adding in for it, but well, maybe you should probably have to stick it with Honda then because it also has all sorts of good vehicles for it, like the Honda Civic, Type R, the Acura Integra, that might be quite very part of a Japanese JDM model board. So, 
Separately, the NSX first generation model is the JTM model, but this is might be very good for Japanese cars to race around for it because retro cars always give the awesome things since the 1990s, made by Japan. So, looks like I might be able to take on four laps for this race, and this is going to be quite very risky to take a lot of several of the Japanese JTM cars are about to join in for it and mostly European cars as well. So we going have to be very careful then. And luckily the other American sports cars are definitely quite shared in for joining in on the race. So this is going to be quite very good to see it. But luckily the NSX headlights turn on because while racing on Tokyo Expressway can be quite very good to see it towards but only in night time of course okay we're gonna get to get very closer in and now give a little bit of speed pass on the Lamborghini Mira second lap on the go this is all about taking some JTM racing hard work for it. Now let's overtake the Mazda RX 500 then. Well, before that, I might be able to try out the RX 500 in the next one. So probably I might be able to use the Nissan C after this. So this is might be able to keep it well for it. Okay, give a little bit of pass on the Aston Martin Vantage. Now, it looks like this is going to be quite going in for it because this is might be good to be a prop for this MR Japanese car to go faster for it and this, this will be able to do it just like the Acura NSX 1991 for it. So, they decided to have this, the NSX Type R model so this is, will be able to go for it. So, it is definitely quite the popular in the other recent games. Maybe for example, Tokyo Extreme Racing Trip. It has that NSX Type R model, was definitely quite seen to use it. So this is definitely a monster power type class in it, because this is going to be quite very good to grip. Okay, very good. So this will be keeping in. Because this is going to be quite good for the master of all MR drive team vehicles to go in the midship. Third lap comes in for the chance, and this will be able to go on over to each four months to go. Okay, there's the Toyota SFR racing concept. Definitely trying to go and pass on before the KTM Expo comes in the lead. But before that, I kind of think that the Porsche 911 G3 model 996 was definitely quite in the lead. Well, unlike the model 991 G3 RS, was definitely quite become the main stronger opponent. But this is going to be brand new for having a custom race segment for it. I know that this is going to be a 2001 model that comes in first. I definitely knew it. Well, looks like that's a pretty lucky guess for the, for the 2001 Porsche 911. I knew that this was going to be a wonderful opportunity for this Porsche. Okay, we're about to be diving in onto the third tunnel. Now let's get ready to do a little bit much upper dope climb turn. Well, definitely most other different types of the NSX models that Honda has, so I kind of think that two other specific type models for it, well, it also has few other NSX vehicle types for it, so it has, they have the standard NSX, the second one is the, it's the Type S model, and also, and definitely the 
third model type is the NSX Type S with the zero letter on it. So this is might be very specific kinds of any colors whenever you're gonna choose for it. Well, we also remembered about the any kinds of different NSX models with any kinds of all colors for it. So this will be able to start to be customizable without having decals on. That will be quite very impressive to be used as variant. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be quite cool in for it because we're placing the lead. Now, it looks like this is going to have to take a little bit much turn to be sliding in on the expressway turns. I knew that the KTM Expo really wants to make an epic moment come on in for it. Well, kind of thing Austrian sports bike can also give a little bit of chance to take the advantage. But not a chance for the NSX because this will take the one moment to come back to spare. Talk about having some power slide and this will be good. So, looks like that's a pretty first place win for it. Because NS first generation NSX comes back to race again for the very long time. Well, I kind of think that this is going to be impressive for it. So definitely the model 996 of the Porsche 911 GT3 just definitely comes in third. Well, looks like this is going to be quite very good for having a rivalry race moment. So, center earnings might be able to come on in for it because that's pretty good. So, looks like I might be able to proceed over to the next round of this event for it. So I kind of think that I might be able to go over to Kyoto Driving Park but this time I'll be able to race on the Yamagita layout. And then looks like this is going to be quite very good so I'll be able to have a new time condition at 11.30. So probably for the hidden headlights cars so only to race on Tokyo Expressway but the other track without turning the headlights on because this is might be very good to save a lot of amount of light energy for it but well because hidden headlights always comes popped up to be able to be surprised with for it because it only has to work takes practicing for the night race challenge for it so before that race number two without hidden headlights on and then let's see it Okay, looks like the headlights turn on and then this is definitely quite very good. Now let's go for Yamakuito race. Well before that, I'm just trying to take a good look, look around on the interior view. So definitely the seat is definitely light red. Well, it is definitely a red color on the seat interior view for it. And over there on the left when I'm definitely using the steering wheel. Well, it also has that gold, gold piece of design that's definitely made. That would be quite very... Well, it is also depends to use any kinds of different interior style designs for it because this NSX made by Honda, it would be quite very good to have a Type R for racing. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be quite very good. Standard cars are still going in for the fully premiumized moment. We're taking downhill for having a chicane turn. Okay, just let the Mustang go first. Just keep climbing up and then and you'll be reached up and into the hairpin. Well, probably before I'm um, taking the Yamaguita track, so this is, might be the right time to race at the Fuji Speedway until the final round for it. I'm just going to have four laps for having a standard race. Okay, this is going to be quite very good. Okay, now slide it in. This will be much better to go on in until 
taking a little bit of chances to do for the JDM MR car. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be good. So it looks like I'm on the seven. So definitely the hidden headlights will be able to pop up during the daytime. Well, except for Tokyo Expressway because it only has to race around in the tunnel for it. So this is, might be able to do it just importantly if this is going to be quite very good. So, well, castle lights may be usable to be turned on with, unless this is going to be quite very good if something else is going on with the optical problem. Okay, so there's the Porsche 911 GT3 model 996 again. And probably this time again, well, I kind of think a different color might be able to come in for it. Well, I kind of think that was the 2008 model. Well, it is the 2001 because it is very special. Okay, now here comes the chicane part. Just gonna have to keep moving in and then make the pass on the Toyota SFR racing concept. Now the KTM Expo is definitely currently in first place, so this time I might be able to catch up for it because, well, the BMW M4 was actually in it. That might be able to see it much often. Okay, just take it easy because this is where it's always important, just like the accurate NSX. Also does giving a little bit of much handling performance. Okay, one good pass. Now let's head on to the KTM Expo to reach first place until two laps remaining. Now only have one more left. specific model by generation. Okay, now here comes the wide left turn. in the 24 hours of month in the 90s because this is definitely quite popular vehicle design so it also customized to be made but especially for the two replica colors we'll be able to be putting on in to rent it for one that will A lot of work to figuring out any kinds of cars to work on. We'll be able to putting on each specific category car class type. Moving on over to the final lap. 
because this race is about to be over very soon because this made able to take a lot of hard work. Just give a little bit of much slider effect and then this will be good. We always all talk about concentration when using the MR JDM car because it takes a lot of work to take some very handling responsibility for it. Because slide turns maybe also to give a little bit of control effect whenever you're gonna make it perfect while you're race. It is separately like drifting. It also gives an example. Alright, this is gonna be good handling. Improve on this hairpin. Now going on over to the chicane to slide it in. One last turn and final stretch will be on its way. Before that, I might be able to take a good look around on this interior viewport. So this is different, you might be very good for this red leather seat in it. Oh man, why do I always forgot about it? Well, it's okay. Just definitely finally got in first place, but no hard feelings asked. But it was definitely just having a fine race for it. I'll make sure I'll be careful next time. So. Looks like this is going to be very good for standard first place earnings board. That might be quite very good. So, looks like the good news is, it's time for going to Bougie Speedway for the final round. So, I'm, this is going to be quite very good. So this time that I'll be able to race on noon, because this is going to be quite good to, to be on the standard starting grid board because, well, Race cars can also do a rolling start. Well, probably production cars can also do that <clears throat> to be used in sport mode. So definitely, because this is where the moment has come, folks. This is where to be prepared to be able to be raced just like the World Tour has ever yet to be seen while we watch for it. Because this where it all comes down to this. So, looks like center starting grid is definitely now in place. And then let's begin to have four laps for it because this is going to be quite very good to speed around on Gucci. Long straight might be able to go in and, oh man. Talk about having some, a little false check on for it. Maybe we should probably have to be very careful next time before the start of the race. Yep, looks like this is the very best track since Gran Turismo 4 was been released in probably 2005. Now it looks like this is going to be very good to mastering when any standard vehicles will be able to be yet on pole. Just keep sliding in on the right turn after turn 3 will be giving the better advantage for it. And looks like, oh, it looks like the F-150 Raptor really wants to join in for the race. So let's give the pickup truck to have a, a fun race with us. That will be quite very daring to be careful with. Now, looks like this is going to be the most moment part for it because Using the chicane is going to be quite very sharp and important to it. Okay, that's very good. Now, here comes the little uphill part because this is going to be quite very impressive if you really going to use the apex on. Okay, so switch back on to the interior view, we'll be able to do it. Okay, that's better. 
Now, looks like this is going to be the easy car to go on the long straights. So drop any car if you like. It's just it's going to be a good comfort spot to be able to increase your speed. That will be a better chance to see it just to make sure to be practiced when you're going to reach the finish line at the final lap. Okay, looks like I'm on the fifth gear. So this is going to be quite very good. And then let's head on to the double cone. Better keep an eye out on the KTM Expo if this is going to be quite giving us a good spot on it. Okay, Toyota SFR Racing Concepts tried to keep up with more. So this is going to be able to do it in and I hope the JTM car is going to quite give a better best luck advantage for it. Retro car can also to give its new tricks. close and then make a clean pass for it. Okay, looks like I'm on fourth place. Definitely the Porsche 911 model 996 is definitely quite coming in to make an attempt overtake on the BMW M4. Looks like the X4 is definitely on third place. So this is definitely one of the new top three cars in this race. This is going to be quite very impressive. Okay, looks like Expo comes in second. Now he's going after the BMW M4. But not on my watch for giving a little half a chance to do it. Now, let's just keep making some more speed to drop up. There you go, one overtake lead and then it will be total of the speed limit up to 130 miles. Just wanted to make sure because this is going to be double check on the miles distance for it. Okay, looks like I'm on the third lap. Now looks like time to deal with an M4, we'll be able to give it in for it. Well, take it easy. Now it looks like dive on over in on the right turn 90 degree radius. Okay, that's better. Honda NSX Type R is in the lead and then this is gonna be quite good for the final lap of the race. So probably when taking first place, other cars can also take the drafting advantage when you're going on the final turn to go on the long straight. This is going to be quite giving a little bit important strategy for it because first place leader and second place or other third place drivers can also take the better chance to reach on over to the finish line goal for it because it takes the long road to also to give a little bit of challenging on over for having an endurance race. So this might be able to have a little bit of excitement for the G500 race event for it. So probably 300 km on Suzuka and Fuji will be able to take 60 laps. That might be quite giving a little bit impressive for having an ongoing run. So I might be able to check on the rear mirror view, so BMW M4 is definitely in second place if the KTM Expo can also come up with a better way to pass the M4. That would be bad news for the NSX. Okay, here comes the freaking point. Now the M4 just definitely got its advantage. Now, time to find a way to get back in first. NSX really wants that winning spot for, for Japan. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. Wide open, and then take the right turn to be quite very successful. Okay, that will be able to kick it back up again and then looks like Expo is definitely now in third place. But this is definitely not going to be good for us because BMW M4 wants to be in second place. Because this is going to have to be worked up very hardly for us. Okay, looks like M4 comes back once again and then just giving a little take back. Oh man, Burr had to have this apex to stay on it. So, looks like we're almost there folks. Just try to keep up nice and smooth and then this will be able to do one final stretch to take the long one. Now, looks like to take on the long straight, we'll be able to keep an eye out on the top two cars. Definitely the KTM Expo is still currently on third, so the M4 can stay in second. So, looks like this is going to be a quite good win for the NSX. This is going to be very exciting. So, looks like one of the most main strong cars on the end. 300 category division is quite very quite getting in for one successful moment for it so it looks like the nsx did pretty good for this race so looks like this is my very good for standard earnings to be going on in so looks like daily workout finish and then looks like the nsx is becomes very fast improved jtm racing approved now let's see Something going on for the daily workout. Hope this is might be come up something usual. Okay, so it looks like the Lexus RCF was definitely now earned as an orange color design. So this is might be gonna add it in for it. So, looks like no sign of a historic car around, so that might be able to give a little bit of waiting time for it. So before that, maybe let's just go and buy the G5 Dark Flake Large. And then, the G6 Aluminum Metallic will be able to be added into the color collection. So probably two more colors to go, so it will be able to done earlier, so it will be able to wait by next week on Tuesday. The first generation NSX now has arrived in Gran Turismo Sport for the Type R model has been designed in 1992. Well, even so, of course that the Acura NSX is definitely an American sports car, but the Type R in the Japanese model type for this NSX because different rim styles made by Honda because it is quite very shown to be very specifically for it. So this is definitely one of the popular retro JDM cars in in every Gran Turismo series. So this has definitely quite become fully premiumized for this Type R model. So it was used to be as a standard model from the previous Gran Turismo games. So most other NSX are definitely has different type model sports like the Type S and the Type S Zero. But this Type R this will be able to be very perfectly to be chosen to be in to be in one of the nine new cars in the September update. So before starting out for the next part of the custom race, I might be able to use for the Nissan Fair Lady C model 300 CX. So this is definitely one of the classic JTM models of the 1990s. So this is might be very good for it. So we're about to race on with some classic Japanese cars for it. Okay folks, glad that you enjoyed this video. Think, thanks for watching. 
And don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget the links on the description down below if you're interesting enough to see more for it. So, that makes the buying concludes for one of the four cars that we also seen. So, looks like I'll be able to continue on for the custom race on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing. Stay cool.